we're here in San Diego Zoo. They are here in San Diego Zoo. For kids, it's uh, forty-six dollars. So we have an adult two visit pass for eighty-nine dollars. One adult. A child for a two visit pass for seventy-nine dollars. Yeah. So that one is a fifty percent. Okay. Yay, we're going inside now. Oh, cool. See you inside. So you can get maps here. You got a new toy. Oh, yeah. yeah. What's that? Um, teddy bear. Wow, it's a nice teddy bear. What color? Pink and white and black. Yeah, it's nice. You are in San Diego. San Diego. Ooh. We're taking the bus tour. <laughs> go Winter, go. All right. Swamp monkeys, spot nosed glennons, and red tailed glennons. These guys also share an exhibit with an otter, which is something kind of revolutionary that the San Diego Zoo came up with. What's the idea of roommates? Winter. They're animals that would naturally encounter each other and live with each other in the wild. But they're sharing systems here too. It really helps with their enrichment and it helps make their exhibit feel a whole lot more like home. Oh, they're sharing systems here too. Plus, they can even foster mutualistic relationships. Go monkeys! Okay. Actually, since then, our zoos have taken the idea to their zoos as well. Have a benefit of getting. I love you guys. Over here on the right side, guys, we have our Bonzabox exhibit. Bonzabox. And actually, some exciting news for our Bonzabox. We just had a baby a few days ago. Uh, brand new baby. So now we have two babies in there. We're very excited for that. We also have our Gyrona down here. Now, Gyrona cleans giraffe necks in Somali. Those guys are what's known as browsers. Which means that they eat leaves from the trees rather than grass from the ground. Daddy. Though I wouldn't trust them with your computer. They're not the kind of browser. Um, we do also have our yellow bag back here. Here's another subject. As those are Chicago and Texas Ranger Dogs. Now, these guys are the ones who 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 are the it's amazing. I've been, I've been starting using it too. So this is out here. Now we are home to four lovely ladies who are all past their breeding age. They are living out the rest of their lives out here in comfort. This is a retirement community for them. We want to pick you up after I leave the zoo. This beautiful girl over here with those tusks. That there is Shaba. Shaba is one of our is one of our African elephants. She's also our youngest at 38 years old. We're at the zoo. Now that girl kind of behind. No worries if you can't see the camels. Uh, they use their camel all the time. <laughs> ah, it's a good time. Over here, though, guys, we're going to be coming into to one of my uh, one of my favorite animals. Anybody happen to know who these guys are? If you said vultures, you're not wrong. They are part of the vulture family. But these guys are California condors. Now, like I mentioned, they are part of the vulture family. They do pick up after hunters and predators have left behind prey. They do a whole lot for our ecosystem, folks. Now, fun fact about them, if they were to stretch their wings from tip to tip, they would be the width of this bus. They are eight wow. feet wide. It's pretty amazing. Wow, we're Check out this handsome boy. Yeah, hi guys. Oh, yeah. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we are in love. All right. All right. This here wow. is Montana, guys. 
Montana is one of our grizzly bears. He's a bear. Now he's one of two. We have a scout here as well. Scout is his brother. Okay. Here's some nice little munchies in there. Now, uh, both scout and Montana were found near Yellowstone National Park, where their mom was unfortunately teaching them some not great habits. Their mom was teaching them to dumpster dive. And while this can sound kind of humorous, it really isn't. And the reason why is because um, <laughs> they just tossed some food in there. It's a good time. Um, and the reason why is because this makes them reliant on human activity, and it can get them extremely sick. Thankfully, though, we were able to bring all three of them in. All went to a different facility. The boys came here, and we were able to give them a permanent home here at the zoo.